Welcome back to the page, everybody. Thanks for tuning in again. Once again, I'm here with another wig review. And since I was on this purple kick, I thought I would go ahead and knock two reviews out in one. So yes, she's wearing the same shirt and makeup. I had on me. I didn't feel like changing. Anyway, I thought that I would go ahead and do this because the colors are so close together and I really wanted you to see this fabulous unit again i got some some good things to say about this wig and some not so good things about this wig so let's jump right in i am wearing the brand new re newly released excuse me coco meadow and i have her in uh, the ot dark purple now i originally thought that this was going to be um just a shade under OT purple, but it's actually not. It really is truly dark purple, a uh, little tad darker than SP Grape. Uh, if you've seen my Petal Blossom review or if you know that color, then you know it's not quite as light. And I have to say, uh, my first impression of this wig is that it is great. It reminds me a lot of the McKenzie wig. Uh, now, I will say this. The thing that really made me purchase this wig, if you look at the model who's wearing the dark purple here, I always forget my left from my right. Um, I really liked the curl, the curl pattern that they pictured her in. And so when I picked her up, when she came out of the box, I was sort of expecting that. And as you can see, I'm actually getting this sort of loose wave, you know, thing kind of going on. I haven't sprayed it. I haven't really done anything to it other than take it out of the pack, cut the lace and put it on, which is a good thing. Um, but it does not come as tightly curled. Having said that, if you look at all the other models, you kind of get a sense that it is actually not going to come as tightly curled and sort of falls in its own way. I'm hoping that you can see the color. There you go. So that's the actual shade of the purple. It looks a lot like SP Grape, but I promise you it really is a tad darker. So if you're not into loud colors, this is a good one if, if you're wanting to introduce yourself to a color and not only a color, but the hottest color on the market, which is purple as if I don't have enough purple wigs, but I had to pick her up in this shade because I just knew she would be pretty nice. Uh, as far as the uh, basics that, you know, the, the, that we typically cover, excuse me, the uh, wig circumference is pretty good. It's a standard wig cap. You definitely have a couple of combs and two adjustable straps, which is awesome. So you're gonna get some good security. It is a little bit big head friendly, um, but at the same time, you know, those with larger heads might find that it is a little tight because it's not as wide of a circumference as the McKenzie wig. Um, what else can I say? The parting space, this is actually the parting space that came with it and I've done nothing to it. I actually think that is pretty fabulous to have that kind of party space. I think they're starting to appreciate that we, you know, are gonna pluck out a part. And so, you know, the fact that wigs are starting to come more ready to wear is a great thing. The con about this wig for me is going to be the texture. Unlike the McKenzie wig, this is a really dry, rough sort of wig. It's a yakky, sort of silky, papery kind of texture, almost like Petal Blossom. And because of that, running your fingers through it is a little bit difficult. It's going to tangle. It's going to shed. And of course, as you can see, it's going to fall. So, it, you know, if you want something that's sort of wild, funky, loose wave, this might be the wig for you. If you want a tighter curl like the McKenzie that you can sort of brush to your own liking, this is not that wig. I did notice that when I started fingering it and brushing it, the, the curls, they started falling more and more, which means I'm probably going to have to cut, you know, and fix the layers and do some curling to it, which I kind of don't like to do. I really like ready to wear wigs. However, having said that, she's still a really cute style. But if I had to choose between her and McKenzie or a wig like JC, which is the, the curl pattern that I was looking for, I, this probably would be the last on the list. Nevertheless, it does have a very natural feel, a very natural look. It is very dry. So you want to get some oil, something to mist it with, a wig conditioner, something to take away that dryness. Um, she is about, about 14 inches in all and I'll turn so you can see her. So you can see she's got a lot of color. She also has really great volume. I like that about this wig. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. 
Here it is from the other side. So you can kind of see how the hair just sort of does what it wants to do, you know, and I keep playing with it, but you know, it's just one of those wigs that's gonna fall however. And actually that's not totally a bad thing because you know, natural hair sort of falls and does what it wants to do. So you're gonna definitely get that out of this wig. Before it to be a new wig on the market, um, I will say that I'm finding it better than Danity, which was a real letdown because there was so much tangling and shedding. The wig was only lasting a few days and I replaced that wig a few times until I just got tired of it. This, I don't think is that. This is, uh, it, you know, even though I don't like the texture, as I said, this is one you're probably going to get some longevity out of. And because it's heat friendly, you can manipulate the curls to make them look however you want. What I really wanted to highlight was just the volume, the density, the parting space, the color. I haven't done anything to really style this wig. So forgive me if it is not looking its best but I just wanted to show you what it looks like right out of the pack doing nothing but cutting off the lace. I'm definitely gonna go in and manipulate that part, add some concealer to it to make it match my skin tone. But it really is one of those wigs that you can put on go. It could be an everyday wig. Now I have not worn it. Um, I've only put it on for the review. So I really can't speak to if it tangles, you know, how it will be after you've worn it for a few hours. So you're going to probably wanna follow um, or check out some of the other reviews on it to see what others have to say who have actually given it that test. Overall, though, I think that this is definitely a wig that you might want in your collection. If you're looking uh, for something just fun, cute, you don't mind this sort of loose, do whatever you want to do, you know, sort of hairstyle, then this is definitely the wig for you. I have no regrets. Would I purchase it again? Maybe. I might purchase it in like a dark blue. Um, because I do like the way that the color actually blends in with the black, that it's not so over the top, it's not so overkill. So for me, you know, it's a hit and miss. I think there are other wigs, like I said, McKenzie, JC, those are wigs that I would probably go for because of the style. The style is more important to me than the color. What it's doing, you know, that's more important to me than the color. But again, you know, if you're an avid wig wearer like me, you know what to do to make it work for you. So it's really going to be up to you. Um, it comes in a lot of other colors, and I want to just go back to that. Just like I said with Petal Blossom, some of these colors are really just not realistic. I don't know anybody that's going to wear a blonde wig with gray at the bottom. I, I think, you know, Free Tress got a little bit too experimental, and I'm uh, if I'm disappointed in anything, I'm disappointed in that because like the McKenzie, I was an avid fan and I purchased a lot of a lot of the colors and I would have hoped that I could do that with this particular wig because you know you can cut this into a bob you can just do a lot with it and I like wigs like that I'm a fan of some project wigs and so that's what makes this a plus in my book but you know I just wish they had offered some more realistic colors for people like me who are just not going to be that far um, on the scale and the spectrum. So with that said, I actually think the wig is hot. I think before you buy, you might want to consult uh, some of the other reviews, see what others have to say, you know, check out other styles that are like it. Before it to be a new wig, it is not a letdown. It really is a pretty okay wig. It's just having tried some of the others again that are better, this one is not hitting me as hard as those. But is she still cute? Is she still fabulous? Yes, she is. The other thing that I want to say before I let you guys go, I like the volume of this wig and you don't necessarily have to pull it all to the front to demonstrate the volume. Like, you know, you really don't have to. You can pull some hair to the back and, you know, have some in the front and, and not have all your hair going this way. And so I think that's a great plus for this wig. And again, the craziness, the things that it's wanting to do on its own right out of the box, that can actually be a plus and make it look pretty natural. So is it hot or not? You tell us. I'm going to leave all the information as usual at the bottom of the screen. Uh, try it for yourself. I do think this is one you might want to at least consider for your collection. It's not very expensive. So at the end of the day, you haven't lost much if you don't like it. Uh, I think a lot of other people are going to review this wig. I think a lot of other people are going to have a lot of varying opinions. So, you know, it's definitely one that is going to be hot on the market. I'm just a little more picky because 
I'm a McKenzie fan. So what can I say? Leave us some love as always. Comment, subscribe. Don't keep us a secret. Share our page with your friends who you know love wigs. And if there is a wig you want us to review, send us a shout out. We'll look it up. Have a good one, guys.